What made Microsoft decide that it was important to partner with a research organization like Seattle Children's? So as part of our AI for Humanitarian Action program, we have a pillar of that is the, is the needs of children. And so we wanted to work on SIDS, and that's why we started working with the Seattle Children's Hospital. And what's incredible about this is I asked Tatiana, how long would this research take if you didn't have Microsoft, and what did you tell me? I told you it, it wouldn't have been possible, just because the, the training that we receive as neuroscience researchers don't necessarily include the programming and computational know-how that is necessary to be able to look at 20 million um, infant births in the United States. And this could really save lives. We talked about how smoking doubles the chance of SIDS. Mm -hmm. How many babies could be saved if a mother just stopped smoking? So we estimate that approximately 800 infant deaths in the United States per year could be prevented if no women smoke during pregnancy. Unbelievable. Yeah. And this isn't stop here. Microsoft is still working with Seattle Children's. What are some of the other things you're working on? So right now we have four research underway, uh, one in prenatal care, uh, another one on the different type of SIDS, and one more on the um, so prenatal care, uh, early death, and the, the genomic, genomic research. Data set. Yes. Where do you guys get the? Where do you get the data to? Because to, you create an algorithm to kind of sort the data, right? Where do you get the information? So CDC, that is the Center for Disease Control, has an amazing open data set that has every single child that was born in the U.S and a cohort of those children that died within a year. This is an amazing open data set, and we wouldn't be able to do this research if it wasn't because of that data set. Because of the CDC. My goodness, thank you both so much for coming here. It's incredible how AI is really changing the way we look at science. What is one of the takeaways uh, from this study you'd like to share? So we really think it's really important for doctors to be able to tell their patients to quit smoking well before they become pregnant, because there's actually increased risk if you smoke before you become pregnant and quit by the first trimester. Um, and then also, you know, if a patient refuses to quit smoking, just know that every cigarette that you can reduce does count, can decrease that, um, that risk, risk of a sudden and unexpected infant death right. by a measurable amount. Thank you both, Tatiana Juan, for, for being here and for everything you've done. Um, we will be checking in with you soon.